Yeah. Yo, yeah. Yo, Sam, uh, happy you're here. Yo, what's good with y'all? What's good with y'all? Hey, hey, before I even sit down, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I just had me an eighth eight as I am stoned out of my mind, and I need somebody lunch. Because your boy Sin ain't bring his lunch money today. Yo, Shane, I'm gonna be real with you, Shane. I'm tired of you not bringing your lunch money. Like, seriously, you making this look bad. Yo ass broke as hell. You always eating off our lunch. Talking about, yo, Tyrone, can I get a piece of your pizza? Yo, Tim, can I have some of your milk? Like, boy, you nasty as hell. And you always talking about you don't date white women, but your ass be drinking white milk. You disgusting. Yo, Tyrone, I know you're not talking, boy. And I never asked for your lunch. That shit covering his spit. Over there talking like a sprinkler. Damn. Damn. That nigga on your ass. Yo, Shane, I know you're not fucking talking, Shane. Yo, I know I'm breaking the fourth wall right now, but editor, please zoom out on this nigga, Shane. And can we look at those fat ass boots he got on, Shane? This man got this simpy boots on right now. Nigga out here looking like Deku. Damn. Damn. Oh, for real? You want to talk about niggas boots? Okay, okay, okay. You got it. You got it. But can we please, please talk about your fake polo you got on? Well, you don't even got Uspa on. Well, that is not Ralph Lauren. That ain't Beverly Hills Polo Club. Nigga, that ain't even Uspa. What is that? That polo came with a free side of fries. Damn. Yo, Shane, all right, you wanna talk about, you wanna talk about my polo? Okay, okay, Shane, okay, Shane. Well, how about we get a little personal, Shane? How about we get a little personal? How about the last time I came to your house, Shane, you had roaches? Ooh. Jeez. That nigga cooking you. I ain't so as you can see. <laughs> your boy Sin just got cooked at the lunch table. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That happens a lot at the lunch table in high school. And your boy Sin was usually the one cooking niggas in high school. But you know I gotta embarrass myself in my video. It's only right. Because the best kind of humor is self-deprecating. I'm just saying. But today we're here to talk about y'all can read. Or at least I think y'all can. Getting high at the school lunch table. Bro, school lunch table stories are always funny because you never know what you're going to get. So many crazy things happen in the lunchroom. But today, I'm going to tell y'all about this time that this big girl named Harley got fighting with this big dude named Steven. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Steven and Harley, these niggas was built different. I mean, the Lakers need to pick them up, son. I'm just saying, these niggas is clearly centers. Everything about them is center. Height, like they should be a center. Weight, they taking up all the center of gravity. Shape, they look like the center of the earth. I'm just saying. But this story was insane. So it was just a regular day. <laughs> Me and the guys at the lunch table. Hey, y'all, y'all seen that episode of Flavor of Love last night? Yo, that man Flavor Flavy's going crazy on there, son. Yo, Shane, I just want to say this, son, and sorry for breaking the fourth wall again in the same video, but son, it's 2023. The niggas that's watching your videos, I mean, some of them might be your age, but you pushing 30. A lot of these niggas is young niggas, Shane. They don't want to hear about flavor of love. I mean, flavor, flavor is cool and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit kind of fire. I ain't going to lie. And them clocks he had on was kind of cool. I ain't going to lie. But nobody is trying to hear shit about flavor, flavor, Shane. Uh, is flavor, flavor still alive? Uh, so, sorry, big Tim here. Uh, just Google that Flavor Flav was alive. Uh, he is indeed alive. Uh, uh, my fault, son. I ain't know that nigga got to be pushing 90 right now. But I, I, I'm just saying, son, you old as fuck. Yo, Tyrone, you just took up a minute and 30 of my video cooking me once again. <sighs> Anyways, y'all saw that new Flavor Flav last night? Nah, son, I ain't really been on the Flavor Flav. I've been on that Jersey Shore. Ha <laughs> dude, I've been on that Jersey Shore. Wait a minute. Dude, what's going on over there? And just then we look over and we see a commotion. So you know us being black people, well, most of us being black people, well, two of us being black people <laughs> in this lunchroom, we went over to see what the commotion was. And I'm not gonna lie, yo, I'm glad I was recording a fight because Tyrone tried to record it, but he that one world star cameraman, they're always messing everything up. Like there was that one time those two boys got fighting in the school bathroom and the one dude fell in the urinal. Oh, I'm going to tell y'all that story too. If y'all get this to at least 3,000 likes, y'all know the drill. And look how Tyrone was recording that fight. Damn, son. Yeah, he beating his ass right now, son. Yo, Tyrone, yo, get the camera angle right, bro. You tripping. Yo, I got you, son. Hold on, my fault. Damn. Oh, my God, son. Did he pull a knife out? Oh, my. This man going crazy right now. Hey, yo, I, I can't wait to show everybody this, man. I can't wait till y'all see this shit, son. Oh, my goodness. It's going crazy. As you can see, Tyrone can't record fights, but your boy Sin got this on official world star. I'm just saying. World star. Hey, bitch, you gonna cheat on me for real? You gonna cheat on me on my cousin? Damn, he cheated on you with your cousin. Yo, me personally, I wouldn't take that. That's what I'm saying. Like, 
I'm not gonna take that. That shit disrespectful. Like, you could at least cheat it on me with like one of my friends or something. My cousin, though, you stinking bitch. Oh, so now you won't call me stinking. I wasn't stinking last night when you had your face on my butt, though. Yo, you got booty mouth. Man, hey, don't put my business out there, bitch. All right, all right you won't talk about how my face was in your butt. Well, we ain't gonna talk about that one time he gave me chlamydia. Damn! Damn. Damn. That bitch is nasty. Oh my god, I can't believe you, you bitch! Die. Bitch, I know you ain't just put your hands on me. And at this point, they started scrapping. I mean, going crazy. Bro took a lunch tray and smacked her in the face with it. Shorty probably smelled like spaghetti for a week after that. You know that lunchroom spaghetti be punching? Bro, they started scrapping, but what the craziest thing about this fight was Harley was actually winning. Yo, she ended up slamming Steven on the lunch table. Fuck you, bitch. Oh my God, you stupid bitch. Fuck you. I hate you so much. You wanna call me smelly? Fuck you, bitch. And she just proceeded to smack this nigga like 40 times. Like, she was on top of him really slapping the dog shit out of his mouth. The whole time, we just standing around in shock and awe. Look at our faces. We couldn't believe that this was happening. This man, Steven, played football and everything. We was on the same team. I just seen him tackle people twice his size. This bitch Harley was strong as hell. Somebody get her deadlift or something? Yeah, I feel bad for whoever her husband is now. That bitch is too big. Damn, bitch, get off me. Somebody get her off me. Man, somebody break that fight up, man. This man getting punished. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. Don't break it up yet. Let it go for a little bit longer. I was just saying that. So after the fight was all done and broken up, and this man, Steven, got punished by a girl, at that point, we just made fun of him forever. The best thing about this whole situation was just getting to see all of this high as hell. Because everybody knows that getting high makes every situation funnier. I mean, this situation probably would have been funny even if we were sober. But being stoned out of our mind and getting to watch this made this fight look like it was in a tunnel. And everything was happening in regular time, but it also felt a little slow. So seeing him getting the dog shit beat out of him with the high goggles on made it look like we were watching TV. I mean, this shit was basically a reality TV show. I got a lot more funny ass stories. And I know y'all are probably saying, yo, sin. This situation would have been funny without you putting high in the title. Duh, I know that. But YouTube doesn't. Only thing that's looking funny right now is my goddamn views. I gotta get back in that algorithm, y'all. Hey man, at least I'm being transparent. But I know y'all rocking with me, so it don't even matter for real. But this month, just know it's gonna be a lot of high in the title. But it's all a facade. Cause it's just gonna be a funny story. Hey, you want to be a really cool person and, and watch another video of mine so I, I don't, you know, become homeless? Yo, yo, click, click this video right here. No, seriously, click it.